everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and we are going to be tuning in here for some weekly guidance. These are timeless. You can check them out whenever you come across them. But we're going to be channeling a message from Archangel Metatron for this week, and then we will go into cards. But before I do that, I am all caught up on personal readings. What does that mean? If you hurry after I post this, you can get in pretty quickly. So I do have my standard readings, which are not live, but you can get those at angelsouls444.com. If you would like to schedule a live reading that is completely based on availability, which right now we have availability, email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com for the pricing and time slots. And of course, if you are seeing this before August 29th, please join me on the Bright platform for a live all about Archangel Uriel, wisdom, strength, finding your authentic power, knowing your purpose, knowing your direction. We're going to be doing a live meditation during that session so that we can all connect together. So if you would like a ticket to that, the link is in the description box. So there is all that. I'm going to get set up here. You see me just being quiet for a moment. I want to know what we collectively need to understand whenever you're coming across this video. So let's get to it here. The blazing sun. When angels are talking to us, it's not often literal, could be, but it's not often literal. The blazing sun. This reminds me of having to burn away this old, it's, it's more than an identity. It's more than a persona. This is an entire humanity shift. Now we're seeing little bits of that, but if we don't allow that sun within us, you know, think of the solar plexus, the um, sense of self coming out if you're always having to compensate because you're insecure <laughs> you know that's most narcissists they are insecure and so they're always trying to overcompensate to show that they have good self-esteem so that is part of what's coming up here to be aware of that and to definitely not be playing into it and uh blazing a new path let's see what that means this isn't how people typically see this. So a lot of people go into control thinking they're blazing a new path or going into rebellion, going against the grain just because, and it's affecting no change except negative change. I want to call this energetic parasites. What I'm actually seeing would be image. It's like the image of our collective energy. And there are deep wounds all around. And um, we're being shown that by, you know, sort of upping our energetic awareness and taking that seriously every day, right? Taking that seriously, making sure that you are tuning in to your angelic team, to your spirit guides, meditating, not trying to force a message to come through, but allowing yourself some space to heal. This in turn helps contribute obviously to the collective and helps us get into a better place. Why is this? Corrosion, oh my gosh. Humans have been left to our own means and we have not known how to handle power that has been manipulated and um, it's, it's now, mm -hmm, it's working against us, which we know that, but we are so quick to blame others, other groups of people, even organizations or whatever and saying it's their fault or walking around with this deep distrust and wanting to pull people out of what potentially could make them happy or make them successful and say, well, I don't trust that organization. Therefore, you shouldn't be a part of that. And here's why. Okay, so there's a lot of, um, I wouldn't call it manipulation because I don't think it's intentional for that. But um, we're not being very cooperative with one another, again, the agenda pushing. 
you know, that's been a thing. So we need to be working on ourselves and not just focusing on our day to day. Now I do daily reading so that you can check those out and get your little bit of inspiration, whatever helps you have a very peaceful day and to help you grow along the way. But um, they're saying that humans are still so focused on how they're seen on material things, which yes, we have to survive. Yes, you want stability. Yes, you want a roof over your head. Yes, you don't want to be around toxic people, right? You know, all those kinds of things. But when we focus on that more or focus on winning more than being at peace, that's, that's what's going on here. The sacred learning. Sacred learning. There are going to be things that are opening up for us. I'm hearing sacred understanding. There might be something that really, for some people, kind of separates you from the mundane. All right. And... This does not make you higher or better than anybody else because you can see a different perspective. It just means that you're being called to some other duty besides putting all your energy into something that's probably gonna work itself out anyway or not matter at all in the coming times. I've been telling all my private clients, like, be aware. Guys, there's more and more and more to come. We keep thinking, if we go through this, then we can rest, or if we go through that, then we're done. You're not done. All right. So there is that part. Let's, ooh, almost knocked a whole deck off my, <laughs> off my desk. All right, let's get some cards. So be working on repairing your energy field. Um, that comes with not, I'm telling you, not being judge, judgmental of other people and making sure you're not an enabler. Don't be an enabler, okay? <laughs> And check on that for yourself. Let's see, though, what we have. There, there it is. There's one, at least. Eight of Ariel. This is studying. This is learning. This is we're realizing what our true nature is. And it's coming in different ways for different people who are watching this. So when information comes to you and you let your mind twist it all up so that it means something you want it to mean because it has some romantic thrill or because... I don't know, it's just more interesting <laughs> in some way to you. This is not that kind of time. This is getting very real with yourself. Take pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. But this is being the student of you. Where do you need to take accountability? Where do you need to realize that you're pushing your thoughts and ideas onto others, not being respectful of what they have to say, um, it, it's sort of the message of clean off your own back porch before you point the finger at someone else. Ooh, that one, <laughs> that hopped right out. Nine of Gabriel, stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Let me repeat that. Be prepared for any possibility. Does that mean that you are fearful that, you know, you start living like the, the world is ending? You don't have to do that. This also says environmental activism. But this is being, you know, working hard, <laughs> working really, really hard and realizing, okay, I have put energy into things that no longer serve me um, or I've denied a, a self-truth for far too long. And now I'm ready to, some of you are backpedaling. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Some of you are in fact backpedaling because you realize, um, you know, I, again, that idea of I put so much work and effort into something I thought was going to make me happy, and then it just didn't, okay? Take what you've learned and implement it is what I'm hearing. Take what you've learned and implement it. The three of Gabriel. I am so sorry. Sometimes when I'm doing angel messages, especially, I'm not really channeling, channeling, like I'm giving over my body to spirit or something. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing that. But when I'm bringing through messages, y'all know if you follow me since the beginning, right in the center of my face, right here, tingles, itchies, it's annoying. It's really annoying. So you will see little jump cuts because I had a delay. <laughs> go Arr! Like that. Or you see me having rubbed off my makeup from my nose. 
whatever. We're all friends here, right? Okay. Three of Gabriel. Check this out. Prosperity arising from wise planning. Time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. I like this feeling. Some of you are not going to like this right? because you don't like change. But this is not going to work anymore. If you continue on this path, you, you're not going to get this. This is going to lead to burnout. This is having to, you know, detox some area of your life so that you have room for something good to come on in. Now, if you get success hungry, if that's what's defining you or you're defining yourself by popularity, look at me, and you're always having to put out on social media just how loved you are. Oh, great. Listen, <laughs> when it's true, you don't need to advertise. Okay. All right. So four of Michael insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress. So this is what we're doing. Realizations, things are being triggered and we're realizing I can go a different way. I don't have to be here. For some of you, this could be moving to a whole other location. Uh, the more and more housing costs go up, the more and more I'm thinking, I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not interested in paying double, you know, for something than what it's worth. You know what I'm saying? So this is saying, you know, don't make any abrupt movements. Don't, um, don't go forging ahead just yet. You're getting things set up. It's really having to understand where you have overburdened yourself, why you did that. That's an important one to look at. Why did you do that in the first place? Did you take a job because you thought... It was going to make you a lot of money and it didn't. Or you thought that it was going to give you a good reputation. But really, people are now going, okay, <laughs> it's not worth it. I'm seeing that a lot. I'm seeing where people are um, definitely reevaluating. Okay. But it, it comes through learning. It comes through learning. So that four of Michael is, hey, chill out and meditate for a little bit. See where you really land with things. Okay. Let's get this other card here. Mother healing. Okay. As your feelings toward your mother heal, your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. This is healing the divine feminine. It's been coming through for a lot of people. And this is, we all have both within us. And, you know, there's like a whole spectrum there, right? So this, with all the Gabriel cards we have here, I'm curious to see what's going on here. It's, it's very abrupt there's something where like we're not doing that anymore we are not accepting this anymore uh and i am seeing that a little bit on social media where you know people are really talking back to people who are diminishing the feminine energy and some people are just so attuned to it that they don't even realize it anymore so there's a little bit of that. I'm wondering, there might be an event or something that comes out or something. There's always something that kind of comes out for us all to see as an example of what's happening in other corners of the world and what's happening within us. Alchemy. You have the Midas touch right now and every project you begin turns to gold. It's more... In the context of all these other cards, this is, you know, reminding you that you can create once you have space. And I would say that's the big takeaway for this message. Make space. Make time. Like we had Metatron saying, heal up those wounds. And they're not, I mean, you could start with like, well, I have wounding from my childhood or whatever. This is wounding by how much of you has been spent in a spiritual sense, Okay. So there's recovery. It's going to be different for everybody. But once we do that, we're going to realize what's truly important to us, what we really want to put our energy into, and we'll start moving in that direction. Okay? So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. <music>